So on Tuesday it was my birthday and I made a cake, a vegan cake from this boxed, um, what's her name? Aunt Betty, no Betty, <laughs> Betty Crocker uh, box. <laughs> um, and I'm decided to show you how to make it because it's really, really easy. So yeah. And this is what I have. The main ingredients are, you know, the, the box, the cake box mix, obviously, um, the icing and then just the Coca-Cola. And yeah, saves obviously use eggs and milk and all that shit but we ain't gonna use none of that obviously so i'm just gonna empty out the cake mix into the bowl and this is all that's in the box there's nothing else in the box just that ready mix i don't know what it is <laughs> like i don't know what it is flour and all that shit mm -hmm. So I'll empty out both of these into one bowl. And then I'll put the Coca-Cola in a cup because it makes it much easier to control. I don't measure anything. Like I never measure anything when I'm cooking or baking. Um, but like when you put in a cup, it's much easier to pour it and control it and all that stuff. So you just pour and then stir, pour and stir, put as much as you need in as you go along. You'll see once it gets to like a point where it's like everything covered with no like flour in sight and you know everything's mixed in well. Yeah, soon. Mixing it and going along. I should, yeah, yeah, I need this. And there you have it. So now I've got some oil and I'm going to oil up the cake pan. Just so it's easier to get it out once we're like trying to ice it and all that stuff and stack it on the other one so now I'm filling as you can see I don't I like the batter got a little bit like drier so I should have added in more at this point before I put it into the cake pan but I didn't but it came out fine still you'll see with the other one that I actually it's more um, smoother and stuff like that I actually actually put in some more into the actual bowl so you can see it's like much smoother than the other one but yeah they still both taste delicious or well, don't want to be sure but it's still they both were good and both weren't dry and none of them were hard so this one was just a bit easier to like spread out um like in the tin so i think it was like more even on the sides and stuff like that Now it's out of the oven and it's still warm and obviously just get a toothpick or a fork, which I use a fork, just to like put it in there to make sure that the inside's cooked and stuff like that. The other one's out, same thing, got a fork, jab it in, see if it's cooked, it's cooked. Now it's out, looking beautiful. And now I've got the icing and we're gonna get ready to ice. So I let it cool down for a bit. Usually I make cakes when I'm hungry, but I wasn't hungry this time, so I could let it cool down for like a good amount of time, I think. So just put it all along using the back of a spoon. Or you can use if you have like one of those like icing knives and stuff like that, I didn't have that. <laughs> use where you've got people. You just add as much icing as you like to like. Personally, like mine wasn't too sweet, but it wasn't like I, I could obviously taste the icing, so it was wonderful. This pot has a lot of icing as well, like a lot, a lot. 
So I don't think you need to use like, I don't know, half the pot or anything because it has so much like, you can use it for multiple cakes. But usually I make cake like once a year. So I can't keep a whole thing of icing for a whole year because people are going to eat it. <laughs> but just knowing like if you're planning on making like a lot of cakes or like a, I don't know, free tier, free tier cake and you can definitely use this um, icing. So now I'm going to put the other layer on top. Uh, yeah, beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and ice that. I think I see that it's not like in the middle, so I push it a little bit. Yeah. You just go to the side and stuff like that. The top tier wasn't as cool as the bottom because, like, it was taking forever. Like, I didn't realize how long it takes for it takes to cool. But I was like, nah, it's taking forever. <laughs> so I just put it on. And now I'm going to put some strawberries on it because it tastes so good with strawberries on it. Like, it just completes it. Like, it just completes it. I had more strawberries, but so I put my strawberries in the freezer so I can use those ones. That was on me. But yeah, if you're planning on making this cake, like one of the break cocker chocolate ones, uh, definitely get strawberries and put them on it. As you see, I started to fail. They just failed on me. It was all going well, and then all of a sudden, it starts slipping. You'll see me persevere. <laughs> You'll see me try and then try again. <sighs> I first wanted to try and put them all around, like in a circle, and then I was like, let me try and do a G for my name. And then the G failed. <laughs> There she goes. And then I think I finally just put them all, stack them all in the middle so they would stay. And there we have it. Easy, simple, quick vegan cake straight out of the box. Just with some cola and some icing and some fruit on top. And here we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay alive with I promise you. Bye, people. Can't help it if I could, I would change it